Why do we humans have fingerprints? What's the story behind those unique swirls and ridges on our fingertips? Great questions. Fingerprints have actually puzzled scientists and philosophers for centuries with their distinct patterns that are custom made for every individual. In fact, they're so unique that criminal investigators have used fingerprint identification to help solve cases since the early 1900s. Pretty amazing that our skin texture alone can connect us to scenes of crime. But I digress. We're here to unravel the mystery of how and why these markings develop in the first place. Let's dive in. It all begins just a few months into embryonic development, between the 10th and 24th week of pregnancy to be precise. That's when the skin on our tiny growing fingers and palms starts wrinkling and folding into ridges, forming what will become permanent fingerprints later on. But what triggers this transformational change? The leading theory points to the tension between two key layers of skin at this stage of fetal development, the inner dermis layer and the outer epidermis layer. You see, the inner dermis forms earlier from mesoderm embryonic tissue. This layer supplies blood vessels, sweat glands, hair follicles, and nerve endings to the skin. The rugged dermis provides overall thickness and strength. Then a bit later, the epidermis starts growing on top as a sheet of epithelial cells. This outer barrier will eventually contain connective keratin to provide a waterproof seal for the body. Now, at first, these two skin layers are loose and able to slide over one another, but eventually they become strongly bonded through protein attachments. Trouble is, they don't expand at the same rates. The inner dermis multiplies faster, causing it to wrinkle and buckle the outer epidermis into folds, almost like crinkling a paper gift wrap over a package. This creates tension that triggers molecular signals for rapid skin cell proliferation. The whirls and ridges that emerge literally increase surface area for growth at the sites of the creases. Pretty ingenious solution by the developing embryo. Over time, the buckled patterns become permanent fixtures as we continue maturing in the womb up to that 24-week mark. Our unique fingerprints are then officially formed. Of course, some prominent markings can still change during our early years if skin injuries alter ridge arrangements. But by adulthood, our friction ridge structures are fixed for keeps. Besides making excellent biomarkers for criminal investigations, it turns out these skin texture patterns serve other functions too, once we're out in the world. For one, the ridges greatly improve grippability, allowing us to grasp and manipulate objects much better. Could be problematic without them, the folds also concentrate sensory nerves at the sites of fingerprint crests, heightening tactile sensitivity in our fingertips. Very handy for detailed work or reading braille. Plus, sweat pores tend to dot along the ridge edges as well, facilitating heat dissipation through water loss. Phew, no sweat. In the end, the story behind fingerprints is one of embryonic development, encountering physical constraints, then unfolding innovative solutions in skin morphology, all leading to unique swirls serving functions we rely on every day. Next time you pick up your phone, sign your name, or touch anything with your bare hands, you can marvel at those ridges you've had since the womb. Our bodies have such incredible capacity for spontaneous creativity even before we're born. Fingerprints remind me that humans carry poetry within our very skin.